All right. You indicated in your opinion today that you thought, oh, well, why don't, we, why don't we move a little different? Are you a member of the American Medical Association? No. Okay, so you don't know what the ethical rule of the American Medical Association is relative to doing uh, clinical diagnoses about individuals you've never talked to. So you're saying in terms of doing expert witness evaluations under that rubric, right? I'm just asking you, do you know the AMA's rule? Under doing, are you saying the a, AMA's ruling under the rubric of not doing about with somebody you did not see? And I'm, and I'm questioning, I'm asking, so you are talking about expert witness testimony? No, I'm talking about, do you know the rule? I'm not a member of the AMA, so I don't, okay, I don't read the rule. Okay, great. You can move on. You don't know the rule. Huh? <laughs> All right. You rendered an opinion about Mr. Depp's purported cognitive impairment. Yes. Yeah. What do you use as a baseline? A baseline for processing speed? Yeah, for, for analyzing Mr. Depp before you watched his deposition. What do you use a baseline for that? Yeah. I mean, I guess my baseline would probably be what I, how I've seen him interact in public. I have seen him interact with others. I've seen him interact in media. I've seen him interact all, and his process speed is certainly not slow. I've seen him do commercials. His process speed was not slow. At deposition, didn't you say that what you did was compare Mr. Depp's performance in lots of pirate movies against his deposition testimony what here? I, what I said was I've seen Mr. Depp do Apology ads. I remember he did apology ad with Bad Dog. No delay in processing speed. I've seen him interact with the media regarding to that. I saw no delay in processing speed. All I'm saying. Let me is ask you about pirates, though. You compared pirates to the tech, uh, to to the depositions given then in this I, case. Then I apologize for what I said. Then I misspoke. You misspoke. You didn't make the comparison. Right now, just a second ago. Just a second ago, I I may have said that I misspoke. I apologize, I misspoke. Okay. Because you know you can't compare pirates to sworn testimony, right? Yes. Okay. But you I, can, but as an aside, you can't judge someone's processing speed at any time. Like I'm judging yours right now, you're judging mine. We all judge processing speed as a baseline because of what we know about each other. I would say your process speed right now is not slow. So, Thank I you. mean, we're judging processing speed, I'm just saying <laughs> to you. Yeah. Um, so, but no, any of Mr. Depp's other portrayals in movies, did that affect your analysis of processing speed? Only I've seen him interact w on interviews, right. and that was it. Right. When he wasn't in movies. What, right. But Willy Wonka, doesn't matter to you? You see him in that movie, Charlie and Chocolate Factory? Did you look at that one when you were comparing his processing speed? Is, is that, do I have to answer that question, Your Honor? You have to answer questions. Yes, sir. No, you'll be happy to know I didn't see Willy Wonka. As a, as, I didn't see 21 Jump Street when it happened or whatever it was. About. No, I did not. All right. You'll... You made a, a very kind admission, I think, early on in your deposition that you're not claiming to be a better actor than Mr. Depp. <laughs> That's correct, isn't it? 100%. Right. But with respect to acting, you know that actors actually rehearse for their parts and work on the language, diction, timing, of their dialogue as part of that rehearsal? If you say that, I'm not an actor, so I don't know what goes on. I can't tell you. I have no idea what goes on in acting. Okay, but you, you don't know enough about acting to know whether actors rehearse? Sir, I am not an expert in acting. I have no idea what an actor does. Okay. During your deposition, 
What were the circumstances under which you decided to call Mr. Depp an idiot? Under somebody to call Mr. Depp an idiot? Yeah, you called Mr. Depp an idiot in your deposition. Why oh, I think, oh, oh, okay. So I think it was in the context. I think it was in the, I should, probably should read the context of it. Because I think the context was, and I'm trying to think back. And I'm trying to think back. Okay? And what I thought it was related to was if you're coming to some deposition, okay? And again, I'm thinking back. So I may, you have it in front of you. I don't. So I'm thinking back where was he's coming in from Europe for a deposition, a uh, video deposition that he gave, and he took it overnight the night before. And what I think I said was that if you're going to take a if you're going to do a major thing to a, a trial that you're involved with, I think you'd be an idiot to come in the night before. All right. So I didn't call Mr. Depp an idiot. I certainly called that planning an idiot. I didn't call him an idiot. So the words, so I mean he's an idiot, are mistranscribed? No, I'm sure. Again, if I said it in that, con if you just read one line, one snippet, I'm sure it was in the context I just said. But again, you have it in front of you. I don't. Yeah. Uh, is uh, idiot a professional opinion? I wasn't writing professional opinion. Yeah. Is it a psychiatric opinion? And that follows the the Goldwater rule. How does it follow the? Well, you just said that I'm not rendering a professional opinion. I just said idiot. That's not a. No, so word. idiot is not a professional opinion. Mm -hmm. Is it your practice to describe people as idiots? My practice to describe people is my practice. No, I don't describe people clinical my clinical cases as idiots or patients as idiots or victims as idiots. No, sir. But you sat for a deposition in this case and and described the plaintiff as an idiot. Correct. Uh, you gave me nine hours of deposition. And if I said the word idiot, it was an idiot in planning. It wasn't making him an idiot. I don't know Mr. Depp's IQ. I don't know his overall functioning. So therefore, if I said it, it was an idiot in planning, which is what I meant to come across as. All right. So you did say you don't know his overall functioning. But you made some testimony today as to some evaluations you made relative to his functioning. You would agree with me that it's probably a good idea to think about the questions that are asked you in a court proceeding before answering them. Am I allowed to answer that question? Yes. Okay. So what I meant by function, what I said by function, I believe that his agent reported how late he was showing up to every movie while the cast is waiting for him. I believe that would be an impairment. If I showed up late for that, I would not be here right now. I would not have a job. Okay? I believe the thing was in terms of uh, balking out of treatment for substance rehab that his doctor is prescribing for him. So if you're asking me if that's an impairment of functioning, I would say I'm very much substantiated in that. I, I'm trying to understand how you got to this notion of cognitive decline. And I, I thought it was based at least in part on, on the manner in which he testified. On the, I'm sorry, what? On the manner in which he testified. On the manner, I'm sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm not being difficult, I can't hear, I'm sorry, on what? I was asking you about the cognitive decline yes. testimony that you made. Yes. And it was my understanding that at least a portion of that testimony that you rendered was that you derived some evidence of cognitive decline from the way Mr. Depp testified. Yes. 